Uh, well, I'm speaking at the Bournemouth and um, Paul Convention this week, and it was just a great excuse to serve my friend <laughs> Michael Otz uh, here. Michael, why why are we here, first of all? Um, well, right now we've just had a barbecue. Delicious barbecue. Yeah, so uh, we've just enjoyed that, and uh, this is also my summer office. Okay, and um, why, <laughs> why do you need a summer office here? Well, actually it's not quite my office. This is uh, a beach set belonging to some friends of mine, but they're very gracious and generous in letting me come and use it um, when I would like. And because the last few weeks I've been working on a new book, it's been quite a nice place just to come and hide out in with my iPad and type away. And you've been getting very brown, and we can see the colour of that skin there, but it's, it is quite remarkable. It makes... <laughs> It makes Howard Sayers look uh, positively pale. Um, Michael, uh, tell us a, a little bit more about the book. What, what is it? When's it going to be out? Yeah, it's, um, it's really a, a follow-up to What Kind of God, um, the first book I wrote. Um, so it's dealing with the kind of questions people have about the Christian faith. Uh, but I guess whereas What Kind of God dealt with more the moral objections, you know, how can Christianity be good? This is more the intellectual objections, how can Christianity be true? So... Um, issues like science, the reliability of the Gospels, um, the plausibility of miracles, the evidence of the resurrection and things like that. So literally just finished writing the conclusion this afternoon, which feels good. Uh, there'll be an edit editing process to go through now over the next few weeks. And if all goes to plan, it should be published in time for the new year. Good. OK. So you're going to be leaving this wonderful, Unfortunately so, yes. wonderful yeah. coastline and going where next week? So I'm going to be travelling um, east to a country where it's um, slightly more difficult to be open about your Christian faith than it is here, um, and working with the student movement there who are running a summer camp. It's more difficult for them to run a mission week like we'd run in other parts of Europe um, because of the restrictions they face. So instead of doing that, what they've done is they've invited all of their friends who aren't Christians to come on a camp. Uh, we've got about 70 coming next week and I'll be doing the kind of talks I give at a mission week but I'll be just doing them in the context of a camp which has the added value of meaning that everyone has to come to the talks so that'll be good, good. Um, so that'll be starting uh, starting Tuesday for seven days and what do we pray for you for that um, pray for well pray for my talks pray that they'd be kind of culturally appropriate and applied into the situation that I'm in um, pray uh, that uh, they communicate something of the truth and the wonder of the gospel and pray for me and there's a team as well coming from the UK to help with the camp. I think one of the great things about a camp is that you not only get to communicate the gospel verbally, but you get to kind of communicate it through the way you live alongside the students that are there. So pray that the way that we live amongst each other would really commend the gospel to people. Yeah. Now, when you get back over the summer, you've got a number of things on. What's happening? Um, first thing is I go to a city called um, Leicester and... Uh, we're going to be uh, speaking on uh, the first week of Hungerton Camp, so it'll be really good uh, to be back for that. I missed it last year because I was in Central Asia, um, and I really did miss it, actually. I was very sad not to be on camp. Summer didn't quite feel like summer without a week at Hungerton Camp, so it'll be good to be back. Um, it's the first week of camp, so the teenage week. I'll be doing um, four of the evening talks. Um, we're looking at the life of Abraham over the course of the week, and then also a number of the morning seminars as well. Great. And then after that, where do you go? Uh, directly after that, I'll be going to Israel. Um, we've got a um, group of students from Oxford University uh, who we're taking uh, in conjunction with Oak Hall um, around Israel for 10 days. Um, they're theological students, but they're not all Christians. So it'll be a great opportunity to teach the Bible in a context where a lot of the Bible happens and uh, really get to know those guys um, over the course of uh, 10 days or so. The autumn sees you doing quite a few missions yeah. um, abroad. Talk us through those. Yeah, there's some exciting missions coming up. There's a mission in Albania that will be happening in November. Um, Albania is um, quite an exciting context, really. It's um, one of the most open countries to the gospel, I think, in Europe today. Partly because, whereas we would consider ourselves a post-Christian culture, they consider themselves a post-atheistic culture. And it's nominally Muslim, but not strongly so. So there's a real openness to explore Christian things and a real growth of the church. So a church that was non-existent 25 years ago is now several thousand strong. Um, I spoke at their students' um, kind of annual get-together for the Christian students a couple of years ago, and it was really exciting to be there. So it would be great to be there for a mission week. 
and that'll be in the northern city of Škoda um, and that'll be in November and then uh, in neighbouring Serbia a few weeks before in October uh, a mission week uh, there in Belgrade that'll be a kind of follow-up mission to the one we did last year up in Latvia in a city whose name I struggled to pronounce down in the southeast of the country um, that'll be the first time they've done a mission and then another mission in a, another country that's a bit more restricted for Christian activity um, in October as well well look, a busy time um, do pray for Michael thank uh, you do remember him and you can get first prayer letters and so on uh, from him we'll maybe put something under this video how you mm. can get in touch with him but thank you very much thank you